Hello and welcome to Doubling in Journals. In today's video I'm going to set up my new A6 folio from Chic Sparrow. This is from the Carol Collection in the March hair colour. I think it's beautiful. I do have an unboxing on my channel if you're interested in a closer look at the leather. And I've decided I'm going to use this to set up a commonplace book. And this is a new project for me so I'm quite excited to get started. And in case you're not familiar with the notion of a commonplace book, it is simply a book in which you write down tidbits, anything that you fancy. Um, you could write quotations, you can write down observations, things from conversations, ideas that you've got from books or from movies or song lyrics or poets or anything really, any ideas that interest you and you want to keep a note of and keep a record of. And because I haven't done one before, I haven't decided yet quite how mine is going to evolve, but I'm interested to find out. Now, I've decided that I'm going to use a notebook from Midori. This is the MD notebook in the A6. I was thinking about using a Stalogy, but I already use Stalogy notebooks in other journals. And this one is less expensive. And I thought that would be a good one to start with and see how I get on with it. Stalogies can bulk up a little bit if you like to decorate which I do so this comes with this nice sort of paper cover we've got some stickers here idea diary and I suppose that's for archiving so I need to keep that safe and then when you open it up it's a very simple little notebook and I thought because it's so simple and elegant it would go really well with this sort of simple elegant cover <laughs> I think it's simple and elegant I don't know if you agree so you get your little wrap and then it's also got very nicely presented it's also got some like tissue paper on it which I shall save of course to use in journaling <laughs> and it's just got a simple cream cover looks like it has a bookmark and yeah just plain which is exactly what I wanted. So let's just pop it in. And that looks nice in there. And I've made a pencil board on which I've glued a Chic Sparrow glue in pen loop in the matching leather. And I also have a video up on my channel showing me making this if you're interested in making one yourself. And let's just see what it looks like when I pop it in. Yeah, it looks really nice. And I can use that to mark my page, although there is a bookmark. I'm not sure if I like the bookmark because it's kind of like red ribbon. I think that looks, mm, I'm not sure if I like that. I might take that off, but we'll just tuck it in for now while I think about it. And then I've chosen this pen, which is a Coeco pen in the Macchiato color to go inside it. And I think that matches beautifully and looks really elegant because it's not a contrasting colour. I would like to have a charm on the front, but I haven't decided yet which charm I would like to use. So I'll show you that once I have decided. <laughs> and then inside, I wanted to keep this sort of title page fairly simple. I'm not going to decorate the cover until the journal is complete and I'm going to archive it because it doesn't seem like there's much point decorating the cover when it's inside a folio as you can't actually see the cover and I just want to keep this fairly simple. I thought I would use these ribbon stickers. These came in a pack from Traveller's Company. They put out a sticker pack each year and these are always in there and I've, I've never actually used them. So I thought, well, it's time to use some of these up. So what I'm going to do is try and write my title here of Commonplace Book. Okay, well that was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be and I'm not all that impressed with the result. I don't think I'm going to be using these again. Where I was pressing on them, got little black marks appeared and some of them haven't come out sort of properly. And yeah, I think that looks like a right old mess. That E got smudged. So not a big fan of the stickers. I'm going to have one more go to put my name. So 
writing even writing my name it hasn't come out very good has it because <laughs> that's supposed to say Ali and it looks like all I think what I'm going to have to do is pause while I think about how I'm going to fix that but I shall still put it up because I think it can be useful to people to see other people <laughs> making a mess um, so that you don't make the same mistakes that I've just done. Okay, so I've had a think about what to do about this page, which I hate. <laughs> and I am going to put a piece of this rag watercolour paper over to hide the mess that I made. So I shall just grab my distress ink and distress around the edges where I've just torn this piece of paper off of a bigger piece of paper. Okay. And I'm just going to glue that on here like so. And then that hides the horrible mess I made. <laughs> oh dear. It'll make it a little bit thick, but I'm not going to hopefully keep doing things like that and bulking up my journal. But yes, I just wanted to hide those sort of slightly disastrous attempt to use ribbon stickers. And then what I've done next is I've completely sort of cheated and I've just used a printer. <laughs> I've just used a printer to write my title on. So I do want to distress that. Now I've got some of these Tim Holtz distress inks and this one is called Antique Linen and it's slightly more creamy colour which I think will look nicer than the white paper that I've printed that on. So I'm just going to colour that right so I've kind of covered that with that antique linen colour I've got glue on my fingers now I'm going back to my brown just to go around the edges Ah, now that I think looks nice so I'm happy with that oh phew I saved it now of course that's not everybody's taste but I like that kind of rustic look so now I have my title for my journal which is commonplace book I have put my name Ali and I put the year 2021 and now I'm trying to think would I like any more decoration on that page I really like these paper doll stickers. They're by Pony Brown. I think they might be Korean, something like that. I'm wondering whether I might, might just pop one of those on. I like that one there with that. There's one here of a girl just sat at the table having a coffee. You know, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love coffee. That's assuming I can get it off. Okay. So I'm going to pop her right down there in that corner yes I like how that looks and I think for now unless something jumps out at me I might just leave it as simple as that because as I said I'm going for a sort of fairly simple look and let's have a look at the first page now this notebook does lay flat which is lovely for journaling on the only page that doesn't lay flat like that is going to be the first page which is sort of stuck to the fly leaf but after that they all lie flat without too much trouble so I just want to decorate this page okay so um, let's see what shall I do I've got this little envelope that's got some little bits and pieces in and oh I like that that looks like it's got some Japanese writing on it so I might go for it and it's already been stamped by somebody so I might go for that. And I think that looks nice with this paper. So I'm going to rip a piece of this. And I'm just going to do a sort of like little simple collage, I think, on this page. So just distress the edge of my paper. Put on some glue. And then maybe just 
just distress that a little bit more where it's been ripped. Which way will I like it? I think maybe like this. Then I'm going to take one of my tickets. This is the Lin Chianing tickets, and I like—I really like the darker ones. Although the, the light ones are nice too. Maybe it would be better to have the contrast of a lighter colour. Oh, I don't know. I always find it so hard to decide. That one looks nice. So I'm going to put this one on. Like so. And I think I'm going to stamp it. And I've got, still got my little tin. These were gifted to me and they're so cute. I'm very lucky, the things that have been given to me. <laughs> And I'm going to stamp this. I've got this little bowl of stamps. These were really inexpensive little floral wooden stamps. I got them from Amazon and I really wish I'd stamped that before I put it on in case it doesn't come out good. Which one shall I pick? I think this one. So I'm just going to ink my stamp, trying not to get it on the block because if you get it on the block you get like a square shape that stamps on. Let's see how that goes. Wish me luck. Hope it goes better than my ribbon stickers did. See how I've got some on the block? Never mind. I think what I'll do, <laughs> shall I cover that with something or not worry about it? I could put a little bit of washi, couldn't I, to cover that. I'm going to put that over the mess I made with the stamp block. <laughs> and I think I'll put a little tiny bit of this one. This one's running out. Oh, that's so sad. I really like this one. It says, I love you forever there. So I'm going to cut that off because I kind of like that. <laughs> I love you forever. Oh, I'm too sentimental. And I'll have to glue it on because it was the last bit of the washi tape. Do any of you feel really sad when your washi tapes run out? Especially when it's a favourite. I'd like some more of this kind of rustic looking washi tape. There. So that's my first decoration. And now I want to create an index. And I have in my stash, because I've done a lot of crafting over the years, I do have a stash of stuff. And I've got this enormous sheet, which is just full of alphabet stickers. And given I can't hand letter, I thought I'd use these to make my title for my index. So I can line them up. And the idea is that once I fill my book, I will make an index where I sort of categorize the different topics I've covered during the course of making this book and then I can put the page numbers and if I want to refer to something in here it will be easier for me to do. Okay, so I've put my stickers with my title index, which I like the look of. Now, when I've used stickers like this in the past, they do sometimes come off. And as I want this to have a fairly long life, I'm just going to paint over my stickers with some of this gel matte medium, which is just like a sort of PVA glue type stuff. I mean, you could use, you could probably just use glue as long as it's one that's clear drying. And I'm just going to paint over my stickers in the hope that that means that they will stay on my book. <laughs> and that's obviously going to need a little bit of drying time. Just going to put a little bit more around this one here. 
I think I've got a dog hair in there. Yeah, I have. If you have a dog, their hairs end up everywhere. Got it out. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that to dry. And I've been inspired in part to do this book by this book. <laughs> and this is by Leo Tolstoy. And it's his commonplace book. And it's just full. It's got a day, every day of the year. And he covers lots of different topics. And he has included quotations from great thinkers from around the world, including quite a lot of his own opinion. So he quotes some, some, of the, some of the inserts are by Tolstoy and some are by other people. There's one there by Kant. Now, I've never actually read Tolstoy's novels. He wrote War and Peace, that's a famous one, and Anna Karina, Karenina, I don't know how you pronounce that. Those are two of his famous novels and I might, I might read those at some point, but I'm not expecting to agree with all the opinions that he expresses in this book. This was written in the 1890s, I think. And I certainly don't want to just copy quotations from directly from this book into my own book, but I thought it might inspire me, give me ideas. If I read something that I disagree with, then it might make me think about why I disagree and what alternative opinion I would want to put in my own commonplace book. So I thought that would be really fun because I took early retirement, very early retirement from my career because I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder and depression and I was finding it really difficult to manage work because any stress will trigger my episodes and obviously any job that you do it tends to be stressful because you have deadlines and things you need to do and if I wasn't very well then I would get behind and then that would make me stressed and so on and so forth and in the end we decided my partner and I that it would help my recovery if I took early retirement and because my career had been an academic career I was a university lecturer in philosophy I tended to focus most of my efforts after I retired on developing creative skills because I hadn't had an opportunity to do that during my working life and I thought to myself I really would like to have a go at doing something more creative which is why I started learning to draw and I started doing this kind of journaling where I'm just sort of creating things it's really relaxing it's stress-free but having said that I don't want my brain to go to mush <laughs> I don't know if it's likely to go to mush. I don't know what I mean by that. But I thought doing a commonplace book would be a really good way for me to start engaging in thinking again, as well as sort of connecting that to the kind of creative things that I like to do. So I can find quotations that inspire me and think about them and then put them in my book and decorate it. Now I need to wait for that to dry. So I think I'm going to end my video there. So I've set up my journal. I've done my introductory page eventually after a bit of a disaster. I've decorated here, I've created my index. I'm going to keep a couple of pages blank for filling in an index later should I decide I need to. And if I don't, then I can just add another spread on the pages that I've saved. We'll wait and see. I would like to just say thank you so much to all of you that have been watching my videos, all of you that have subscribed to my channel. I've really enjoyed responding to your comments and I'm finding this new YouTube channel hobby really fun and yeah I'm really enjoying it so thank you very much for helping me to enjoy my channel and I hope that some of you might be interested in following my commonplace book journey. I know that I put out lots of different kinds of videos, some planning, some journaling, this is going to be a commonplace book series i also do some drawing videos and i do some tarot reading videos all kinds of things i need to learn how to do playlists so i can separate it out so that those of you watching can just easily find the ones that appeal to you but thank you again so much for watching and i will see you again soon bye